swallow for me. Economically, things became better for me in when I came to America, United States of America. And that was the reason why I migrated. This one tells you about anesthesia. Okay. I wanted to develop myself so in terms of my down. education. Okay. I am grateful that I was trained in Guyana. I didn't pay a penny for my training in Guyana. I had four years of training and, and four years of quality training that I am very proud of. Because if we, if we get a mid Dr. Bindi Patel is responsible. There are people who are interested in going into the profession, but because there's not enough educators to teach these students, what happens is that um, the class sizes are very small and the number of nurses that they can go through the programs is really diminished. Many of our nurses come from the Philippines, from Guyana, from some of the Caribbean islands. She's been working. always of you and allowed you to. I think it's important to recognize greater news from you. All the efforts, not only all the, the country's efforts in terms of reducing maternal mortality, but all the, the, the health sector efforts are really constrained by this out-migration. We try to give the best care as possible. Now, when you have a shortage of staff and a patient, you have lots of patients, you cannot deal adequately with one patient. You cannot listen to the patients properly. You cannot get to do what you would like to do or what you were trained to do as a nurse. Everybody wants to afford to do what they have to do comfortably, right, for the families and for themselves. Let's not have any doubt and make no bones about it. Migration of our health workers impacts severely on achieving health for all. If salary, for example, is one thing that attracts people to other jurisdictions, there is no way that we will compete in the foreseeable future with the United States. Okay. I had almost completed all my contract probably like a couple of months short of that before I left, but I still had to pay some money.
they gave us this free training and then we left. I haven't planned on going back living there, but I can in some way, in some small way, I could contribute to what I got from Ghana. They have helped to reduce the gap and the deficit that exists in terms of financing. They have been able to provide some much needed human resources. I like this country, I like to be here, but if an opportunity presents itself, I will, right? Because I have served my contract. There are still people without water. There are still people who need help for housing. We still have drainage issues to deal with. It is unfair for a country to have to double its capacity.